All right, guys, welcome back. Now, just first of all, I'm gonna address the, the shirt. I know it's not St. Patrick's Day, but this is uh, an homage to my hometown, Berrien Springs, whose school mascot was the Shamrock. That's right, we were the Berrien Springs Shamrocks, the fighting Shamrocks that drives fear into the heart of every opponent. So um, anyway, it's not just St. Patrick's Day, it's my hometown, Berrien Springs, Michigan. All right. We got a box and it's actually straight up addressed to Ryan Eats. So let's see, let's see what it is. And I, like there was no mix up this time. Uh, wife, wife did not open it on accident. She saw the label, saw the address and waited for me this time, so. I learned my lesson, man. She, ooh, from the background, from the gallery, she says she learned her lesson, okay. That's what it looks like. Oh, okay. Oh. It's just whatever's in this paper because that's that's all that's in the box. <laughs> so gross. Oh man, you guys. Okay. Now. We've all had those tasty lunches of noodles, right? Cup noodles or ramen packets or cup O noodles, I think is out there somewhere as well with the apostrophe O, where you put the hot water in and you get the like chicken or whatever, you know, chicken broth and the noodles, the ramen noodles. But this one is cup noodles breakfast. <laughs> what? Ramen noodles in sauce, that's what it says right here. Ramen noodles and sauce, maple syrup, pancakes, sausage, and eggs. Artificially flavored as those things. So those things aren't in there. It's just that the ramen noodles taste like those things. Dude, I'm totally gonna try this. Breakfast cup noodles, artificially flavored as maple syrup, pancakes, <laughs> sausage, and eggs. Ramen noodles in sauce. I appreciate that even though they're artificially flavored, the picture has sausage chunks and egg chunks in the picture. So, fantastic. So we will go hit some water and we will come back with some breakfast cup noodles. We'll be right back. Okay. Um, so we followed the instructions specifically, you know, we didn't like vary from the, let me bust up my, my readers here. Microwave directions. It says step one, go for it with an exclamation point. Remove lid, add room temperature water to the fill line. Step two, cook it, exclamation point. Place in the microwave, uncovered for four minutes and then let stand one minute, which we did. Step three, slurp away, exclamation point. Slurp. <laughs> Stir and enjoy. Cooking times may vary, blah, 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 blah. Now, I did want to notice, I didn't point this out previously. Uh, it is a limited edition. So, you know, this isn't an all the time thing. It's a, it's a once in a lifetime. Uh, so after uh, the cooking instructions, microwaving it and then letting it sit, I just wanted to show you guys, it straight looks like vomit. Like <laughs> somebody blew chunks on some ramen. So there are little like sausage and egg chunks in there. I don't know if you can focus up camera. Like look at, it's, it's bad. So, okay, back to me. Um, all right, let's... Uh, <clears throat> Let's stir, stir and slurp away. Let's stir and enjoy. Let me get those. I don't need to see this clearly, thankfully. Okay, we're giving it a stir. Okay, I, I smell a very strong hint of like sausage and syrup, like maple sausages, like syrup sausages, mixed with a chicken broth of ramen. The, both the girls say they smell the broth a lot. So maybe that's my... It's broth with a hint of syrup. You smell mostly chicken smell broth like with a hint I, of sweet. Okay. I smell like cooked syrup. <laughs> yep. 
it's oh, it's this is gonna be uh this is gonna be something okay i'm gonna okay. it looks like from a distance really normal yeah it looks like normal ramen but until you smell it and look at it <laughs> All right. okay i'm gonna burn my mouth <laughs> you guys okay um this is this is what i picture right so you have your breakfast plate after some pancakes or maybe some scrambled eggs on the side right and you have that like leftover like like pancake syrup juice and then you put ramen in that <laughs> and then you like stir it around and then you eat those ramen noodles with that nasty pancake <laughs> syrup after sauce on that so you make cup noodles you pour it on your pancake sauce mix and then you eat it like that's wow that's interesting very similar to the chicken and waffles chicken chips oh. that you guys also made me try except this doesn't taste like chicken at the end at all but it's like that weird it's almost like an illusion cake. Like you're eating something that doesn't look like what it tastes like. I'm eating ramen, but then it ends up tasting like pancake syrup. All right, let's do it again. There's like no broth in here. I wish there was a little bit more. It's just all noodles. Like that's it. It soaked up all the water. Whoo. Ladies, maybe. I don't know. I'm like trying. It's still too hot right now, I think, for I can't one of eat you. Anything yeah, right. Wow. <laughs> it's not horrible. Like I'm not gagging and I'm not having like, you know, my like reaction like ticks, but Wow. That is very strange. It really is a an exact mix of breakfast with, with cup noodles. <laughs> All right. Well, there it is. <laughs> breakfast cup noodles. So until next time, hope all is well on your side of the internet. This has been Ryan Eats. We'll talk to you later. Bye.